Hi everyone, welcome to today's on-demand webinar on navigating your business through COVID-19. My name is Nick Ogden and I'm the country manager here at a somewhat lonely BPO office here at Clark, the Philippines. Today, we just wanted to really quickly run through our approach to the COVID-19 challenge and maybe just share with you some tips and tricks um, and some insight as to what our approach has been. Um, we'll talk about the health checks, um, continuing to innovate your business, communication strategies, both from a client and a staff point of view. Talk about your work from home strategies, um, and, and in particular, about accountability measures that you can put in place to one of the productivity of your remote, remote teams. Um, and talk about coming through the other side and, and, and having the right strategies in place to really take advantage of um, the expected bounce back once we're through the COVID-19 COVID crisis. Now, of course, all of our accountants and uh, financial, financial people are asking us to pull apart the profit and loss line by line and in intimate detail and focus on expenses and, and looking at areas where we can trim those numbers up, not only from contracts and, and business relationship point of view. And of course, unfortunately, also staffing staffing numbers as, as well. We've, we've done that as a business too at, at, here at BPO, but we've also linked that to our forecasting and forecasting with extreme caution. Of course, at the beginning of the COVID-19, uh, things were moving in, in, incredibly quickly. Um, thankfully, we've seen that, seen that flatten flatten out somewhat. But in the early days, we asked our financial teams here to run bi-weekly forecasts to, to, to make sure we the numbers we were predicting were in alignment with what was happening in, in such a, in a rapidly changing environment. We continue to run those, those numbers um, um, bi-weekly and we're doing it with extreme, extreme caution, um, not just from a revenue point of view, but just also really um, keeping a really close eye on who, who, who could continue to pay and, and who's having financial challenges out there in the marketplace as well. Not, not a time to be putting, putting your head in, in, in the sand or, 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 or sugarcoating the numbers. Um, really, really important to be forecasting with extreme caution. Now the tech, of course, is such a big piece of this puzzle where we're all being forced to, to, to work remotely. Uh, thankfully, Bepo is an incredibly mobile business. All of our own systems um, are, are cloud-based. So all of our platforms, whether it be our, our internal CRM, HubSpot, um, our accountancy platform, we use Xero, um, everything can be, can be run, run remotely. In fact, one of, the challenge, one of the advantages that we've had is that not only, of course, we're running, running a big team here, we're all used to working remotely here in the Philippines, but our sales function, which is largely run from, from Australia, is also run completely remotely. Um, our sales team don't do a lot of face-to-face -face meetings and have run their entire sales process through a video-based platform, which we're using today, um, using Zoom. Um, really important to make sure that your tech is in alignment with what your business needs right right now, but, but also moving into the future and, and making sure that you're using all the tools that, that you have and getting rid of anything that's unnecessary. Now, of course, innovation is key at this, at, at this time where everybody's having to work in a, in a different way. Um, it really is a time to be thinking about service offerings, how you can put your, your business uh, in front of your clients in a, in a different way and how you can think about other services that you can continue to buy, provide value to your valuable clients. Um, we're, we're no different. We, we've had to do this a, 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 as well. We have the advantage of having some really clever tools that help us manage our, our, our teams remotely. Um, one of those tools is, is Time Doctor, um, which we've, uh, Time Doctor is the base platform, which we've, we've customised for our, our business here at, at BPO. We call it the BPO Productivity Portal. But what it allows us to do is monitor and, and, and measure all of our staff's 
day-to-day um, -day activity, um, their productivity um, through, throughout the day, and really allows us to get a really transparent view of where they're spending their time, uh, not only on the individual tasks in their individual role, but, but also any websites or online apps uh, that they're spending their time on. This allows us to continue to add real value to, their, to our clients, albeit with our teams working remotely. Communication, of course, is a key part of any, and any leadership um, and effective leadership strategy. Um, and of course, there's two pieces to this puzzle and it's really important that we're clearly communicating with our clients um, regularly. Uh, we have a weekly, weekly um, note that goes out to, to all of our clients and we have a monthly newsletter. The monthly newsletter we do by video um, using a, a similar platform to we're using right now on Zoom. Um, we get really good engagement um, since changing over to a video-based platform for our newsletter. Um, if anyone would like to see um, an example of the newsletter that we send out monthly, please don't hesitate to reach out and we can share that with you offline. Um, not a time to forget about the positive news stories. Um, I'm seeing some great um, staff engagement activity being shared within our groups of, of of different ways for the teams to um, interact and still have fun um, at work and have that work-life balance, albeit with the teams working remotely from their individual homes. Um, great to share that out with your, with your clients and I guess your, your broader teams as well. Now staff really need to know what's going on as well. And I think it's really important in these times to make sure that you're being completely transparent um, and of course, complete, completely honest with the business situation that they're in. It's, it's no secret that this is some of the toughest times that businesses are, are having to face. And, and, and most staff will understand that if they feel like they're getting complete honesty and transparency from their business leaders. Important to keep regularly up to date with, with, with your team members, with both the good, good news stories and, 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 and equally important, the business challenges. Now there's lots of content online about effective work from, from home strategies, but one key thing I think is important to remember is that individual team members will probably react or will definitely react differently to a work from home environment. Um, it's important to think about the personality traits of your individual teams and, and what you might need to put in place in terms of accountability measures, um, in terms of the workload, um, and, and also just leadership and management of individual staff members is going to be different from um, personality to personality. And, and to give a practical example, a lot of your administrative type staff, your, your, your slower paced, um, attention to detail type staff members, might, probably aren't going to struggle with this um, with this change in working environment at all. In fact, you may even see a, a significant boost um, in productivity. However, with your, your, your more fast-paced, emotional type staff members, um, you know, like your, your, your salespeople, your, your, your sales managers, um, those guys are going to need a little bit of extra help and, and guidance. And, and, and I think accountability measures too are really, really important. So as opposed to just measuring on results, re really important to also measure on productivity as, uh, as well. And having an accountability um, measure in place to, to do that um, is really, really important at a time, at a time like this. And um, just that, that understanding that different team members are gonna need different levels of support throughout this event. Of course, now's not the time to be um, pulling the plug, plug on, on business initiatives. So um, I think it's more important now than, than ever to be thinking about how to do things more effectively, uh, more efficiently um, as, as we move forward. And businesses that have been doing that, of course, a much better place to be able to, to deal with this event that we're dealing with right now. But equally as important to be thinking that, thinking about those initiatives going forward, whether that's using technology and artificial intelligence tools more effectively, or just thinking about running your teams in a, in a different way to get the most out of each and every department within, you, 
within your business. But clear to see at the end of this uh, event that there's a, a significant bounce back and the businesses that have responded to this challenge um, have put the right tools in place um, will be the most the best place to be able to take advantage of that and potential boom that we will see. Now guys, um, for anybody who would like any more information on today's webinar, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself, Nick Ogden here at BPO, or indeed Gary Culverhouse, our National Sales Manager. Um, thanks so much for your time. Um, here's to getting through this event in the best way possible. Thanks guys.